So today, uh, my neighbor is moving, or is closing his shop down and renting it out, and he's getting rid of the computer he had in it. This is a Pentium 2. It's a mini ATX. It actually has an ISO slot, which I've never seen that. Uh, and uh, it's got a 17-inch gateway. But that's not the only thing I got today. You see, Ripka popped by, and... He met the Popeye during my birthday, so I've got a, another black and white TV. This one's got a built-in radio. This is a video switcher, which I think actually has component. Oh, you got some floppy drives that are slightly bigger than half height, but smaller than full height. Oh, wait, no, these are Alltech Lansing speakers with uh, bandpass subwoofers. Uh, two IBM USB floppy drives. Very classy. Uh, gateway OEM software. Windows 95 upgrade in the box again. We got a, a quad speed CD ROM drive. Get your files at 600 kilobits a second or kilobytes or something. Uh, this device will put a timer, a time readout in your video so you can have it show what time it is or have a countdown or something. A mechanical means of something most people do electronics these days. So that'd be cool to play around with. Uh, this is a aftermarket PCXT power supply that's high wattage. It's a 200 watt power supply. Uh, this is a front I.O. for, I don't know, looks like a capture card. Yeah, it definitely looks like a capture card. I kind of wonder if I can adapt that for a sound card. Uh, let's see, we got a Hertz Corporation. Uh, looks like an AT keyboard made in China, definitely an AT keyboard. Doesn't feel bad for a rubber dome. Uh, stuff from high school. See, uh, I made this in high school for a thing that the whole class is working on. That was my artwork. Uh, Repka said this was in the room. I don't remember it. Uh, and this is the video switcher. I could use that in my TV, because I have so many game consoles. He also gave me a Variac again, and this guy, I love the look of it. It's bigger than my old Variac, it's a 240 volt but it has a center tap so you can take your 120 and turn it to 240. Oh yeah, safety. He gave me a, one of those little emergency car to pumpy tires, a torque wrench, a, uh, a smart disc or smart card to a floppy drive adapter. I, I gotta find a smart card. A credit card reader. Uh, 75 ohm coax BNC, uh, some, a really old 12 inch woofer, very deep cone, pretty good shape. A uh, box full of CDs, I wonder if these are blank. What is this? It's old and it's in the box. Color compatible, yeah, it's old. All right, and we got a uh, an ST251 half height hard drive. Uh, how big are you? Yeah, this is probably somewhere between 40 and 80 megs. Uh, we got a uh, we got a trackball with armrest. Oh, it's got middle click. I like this. Put it in front of your keyboard, that'd be awesome. So we've got a, a RAM card, 80 gigabyte IDE hard drive. Whoa, what is this? Is this a uh, chip programmer? A uh, EEP ROM recorder type deal?
All right, looks like we've got a uh, an IBM PC motherboard here. Uh, and it might actually be the PC motherboard because it has way less ISO slots than a PC XT. Eh, it's got two keyboard ports. That's odd. We got another one. Ooh, a hard card plus. This looks like a PC XT board here. And that looks like an IBM portable board. Got the different capacitor for the color here. Maybe? No, this, this is a little bit different. No, this is an IBM portable board, I think. Yeah, it's got the coprocessor. No, this is different than the boards I have, though. This is different. And it's been repaired.